round five of the 2013 FIM World Motocross Championship is about to get underway here in Sevlievo, Bulgaria. Jeffrey Hurling set the fastest time in pre-qualifying, but we're going to have a word with Rockstar Bud Racing's Valentin Tellier. It's been a bit of an unfortunate start to the championship for you this year. Um, obviously you missed Valkenswaard and Arca de Trento, but what's the update? How are you feeling? It's nice to see you back on the start line. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy to be back. Uh, that's uh, the very important for me to be here, but uh, I'm not feeling really good. I mean, uh, the, my shoulder is not 100% uh, ready, but uh, uh, that's my decision. I wanted to ride, and uh, it's uh, maybe more difficult than I think. But um, yeah, I will try my best uh, with a good start. Um, and maybe the race will be different than the pre-qualification. But uh, well, yeah, I will see and uh, I will uh, be concentrated on the start. Thanks, Valentin. Best of luck. Right, let's move up a bit. Uh, we're going to speak to Max Anstey. Unfortunately, we've lost his teammate, Julian Lieber. He had a bit of a crash in pre-qualifying. Um, but he seems to have disappeared. Oh, here he is, Max. How are things? You finished last year here, fifth in the GP overall. What can we expect from you on track this weekend? Going fast. <laughs> of course, what yeah. else? Doing big jumps. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's good. I'm enjoying it here. Um, the sun's come out, so, uh, so it's gonna be good. Yeah, the race plan is just um, basically when the gate goes down, just go out and just keep riding around and see where we end up. Um, no, it's going to be fun. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I like it here. I've always liked this track. I've rode here loads of times since I was little. So, Shame for my teammate, Julian. Um, he's, he's not riding now. He hurt his leg a little bit, so hopefully he'll be okay and back for Portugal. But get well soon, mate. Thanks, Max. Right, let's see the MX2 qualifying race. Yeah, in qualifying, it was, uh, well, pre-qualifying, Jeffrey Hurlings was fastest by quite a long way, but it was Jake Nichols who pulled the whole shot going in turn one in the qualifying race here at Sevlievo. The two Red Bull KTMs, though, of Jeffrey Hurlings and Jordi Tixier were pretty well placed, but it wasn't long before Jake Nichols felt the wrath of the Red Bull KTM of Jeffrey Hurlings. He slingshot his way round the outside and then made sure that Nichols wasn't going to find a way back through. There was no retaliation this week, like in Arco de Trento a week ago. Once there, Jeffrey Hurlings started to establish himself and pretty soon amassed a pretty solid lead at the head of the field. Jordi Tixier's teammate went into second on the second lap, passing Jake Nichols, and those two would finish in second and third place, but no one really a match for Jeffrey Hurlings, number 84, the championship leader, who's never won here before, and of course is the only guy in MX2 to win a Grand Prix ever as all the riders sit on the grid for tomorrow's main race. But Jordi Tixier got into second on the second lap and held a nice seven or eight second advantage over Jake Nichols on the Will Star GM Racing KTM. Jake Nichols here, riding 45, having a good season at the moment, coming into form just at the right time, is the young Brit. He'll be looking for another podium here this weekend. Christophe Charlier, well, he started the race in pretty good uh, shape, started in fifth place, got up to third at one point, but then dropped back and eventually finished in fourth position after a small mistake, and he had an interesting battle with Jose Boutron, but just behind him, the battle between uh, Boutron, Pocock, Lapino, that started to intensify as the race went on. Dylan Ferrandes was riding good as well until he made a mistake and then dropped down to ninth. That's him there on the Rockstar Bird Racing Kawasaki in yellow. His teammate, Valentin Tellier, back in action this weekend, the 737 rider, but, uh, Tellier having to settle for 11th, just ahead of Jimmy Dakotis on the CLS Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki. Max Anstey, number 14 on the Rockstar Energy Suzuki Europe machine, had a tussle with Dean Ferris, the two touch wheels at the bottom of one of the hills, and they both went down and had to fight their way back through the field. Ferris getting back to 19th, Anstey getting back to 15th, but they were both inside the top 10 when they fell. Number 9, 11, Jordi Tixier. In the closing stage of the race, had no match for his answer, number 80, oh, for his teammate, number 84, Jeffrey Hurlings on the Red Bull KTM, who by the end of the race managed to go on and win it by almost 22 seconds, setting fast lap times around the Sevlievo circuit. Jeffrey, congratulations on winning this MX2 qualifying race here. This is an important GP for you, for your own personal goals. Um, obviously, your undefeated record up to now, but this is one GP where you haven't won at yet. 
Yeah, I got fourth and third and second, so hopefully uh, this year I can come out with a win. You know, riding is going really good at the moment, so I had a good start, come out second, and then hope to have the same tomorrow. And then, yeah, try to keep on uh, going my undefeated streak and try to win both motos and uh, go happy, uh, happily home. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you.